what I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from me and this has been like a therapy session. to bring to the UK and we're so proud of Lee Wood, the champion, for accepting this challenge as the champion. The first time you see an underdog in his home city take a voluntary defence, him and his trainer Ben Davidson, they see something, they see an opportunity to become the daddy of the division on Saturday night. For me, this is to determine the number one fighter in the 126 pound division. There's going to be drama, there's going to be excitement, there's going to be plenty of violence. And this is going to be a tremendous fight on Saturday night. We cannot wait. Welcome to the team of Maurizio Lara. Welcome to the team of Lee Wood. And we'll start with Maurizio and Alejandro. Welcome. Uh, I'll ask you a massive opportunity. I guess you may have been surprised when this opportunity came. But what a tremendous fight and a massive chance for your man Maurizio Lara to become world champion on Saturday. In first place, Alejandro, bienvenido. Eh, obviamente, es una una oportunidad enorme para tu peleador, quizás una oportunidad que, que vino de sorpresa de poder pelear por un título mundial, pero es una oportunidad enorme para Marcio Lara para convertirte en campeón del mundo el sábado por la noche. Sí, así es, sí. antes que nada, eh, agradecer la, a la oportunidad de la Macho, agradecer al equipo de Lee Wood habernos dado la oportunidad para que Mauricio esté a dos días de poder cumplir el sueño de tantas veces anhelado de disputar un título del mundo y ser campeón mundial, que para eso ha entregado y se ha esforzado tanto tiempo. Lo, 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 lo buscó, pues, desde la primera vez con muchos años para pelear por el título del mundo, lo se dio, y en esta ocasión estamos muy contentos y muy seguros de que lo va a lograr. Eso es lo que quiero decir. Gracias por la oportunidad de la oportunidad. Y también tenemos que agradecer a Lee Wood's team por esta oportunidad. Es por darle a Mauricio la oportunidad. Es ahora solo dos días de la oportunidad de ser campeón mundial. Es un sueño que ha tenido for a long, long time. We hope that he'd do it against Josh Warrington. Unfortunately, that title, or well, that fight wasn't for a world title in the end. But I'm totally convinced now that through all the hard work and suffering he's gone through, he's going to become world champion on Saturday night. Alejandro, you know this, this man, you know the journey that he's been on. Tell us a little bit about that. How much does he want victory on Saturday night? Alejandro, you know the journey of the trajectory that he's had in his career. ¿Cuánto lo quiere? ¿Cuánto lo quiere este título del mundo para Salvador Alonso? Como todo peleador, el, el máximo aspira, aspiración es el campeón mundial, pero yo conocí a Don Mauricio hace más de seis años. Desde el momento en que, que platicamos la primera vez, él siempre tuvo un sueño de ser campeón del mundo y él decía: Yo quiero conquistar el título turbo y que mi nombre sea recordado en la historia del boxeo mexicano, en la historia del boxeo mundial. Y estamos a tan solo dos días de que lo puedan conseguir. La verdad es que yo lo veo muy seguro, muy confiado. Y estamos muy motivados, todo el equipo y todo México que está muy pendiente de que va a poder conseguir su sueño. Sí, yeah, so, you know, like all fighters, they always go and say that I want to be world champion. They always have that maximum dream. Uh, but Mauricio always said that to me. I met him a little over six years ago. And he always said it was a dream to become world champion. And he always said that he wanted to, his name to sound uh, in Mexico and to be a name that's recognized. And now he's just two days away from this. And we're really, really confident, really motivated. Not just us, but everyone back home in Mexico. They believe that he will become world champion. Thank you, Alejandro. Ben Davison, part of the team, part of the reason that we're here, not just for previous fights, but both of you guys chose this fight, it wasn't Lee Wood against your will, it was you two together, I said Maurizio Lara is the guy, I said, and I want to take the credit for this fight, but you two have to take the credit, I said, let's have an easy one, you just had fight of the year, you've got the whole city behind you, Lee Wood said, I don't want easy ones, I don't think I'll box well in easy ones, I said, what about Kiko Martinez, you went, no, what about Maurizio Lara, people still don't understand, I'm sure you say people will see on Saturday night, you know how tough this challenge is, but you two firmly believe that you've got the beating of this man to establish yourself as number one in the division on Saturday night. Yeah, styles make fights uh, more than levels, and uh, you know, Lee Wood's been written off numerous times for his career, uh, when he lost it for the British title, when he lost in the Golden Contract, when he was boxing Kanzu, when he was boxing Michael Conlon, 
and every time you know he's come back better and stronger, and that's uh, a, a rose to the challenge, and that's when you see the best of the world. And exactly that what you just said there. I think that a fight that Lee's heavy favourite in, you, you won't see the best from Lee Wood. And uh, you know, as I said, Star Wars make fights and and Mauricio Lara is a very brave fighter, a very dangerous fighter, but um, in the midst of chaos lies opportunity and I just believe that you can't be as reckless as he is against a punch like Lee Wood. People talk about how tough Mauricio Lara is, people talk about how hard Mauricio Lara punches. You've long said, I remember sitting down in the, dub, in the bubble for the recent on fight, just when you started working with Lee, I've never known power like this, pound for pound power on a fighter. This guy has the opportunity and the ability to take you out any time. He does, look, Lee, Lee by far, it doesn't, uh, there is no doubt in my mind who the bigger puncher is, but you know, that's not always how it plays out in a fight, but, you know, who punches hard or wins the fight, that's not always how, how the fight plays out, but, Lee is very well drilled, um, very well prepared, he knows exactly what he needs to do um, and will have the intelligence and the IQ to create the opportunities and scenarios that favour him in the fight um, for him to, to execute what he needs to execute to, to end the fight. Obviously you work with a lot of fighters as well, how much and how different is it going into this fight almost you know, with the fear factor of fighting Mauricio Lara, how much you know your fighter will be switched on day in, day out in camp, on fight week. He knows that he can't make mistakes on Saturday. He's experienced that cauldron of all packed out arena in Nottingham. He has those experiences those nights, but he knows as well the challenge is ahead and you've had a focused man in this camp. Yeah, Lee Wood's not, not, fear is not anything to do, do with uh, Lee mindset going into this fight. You know, we're very confident, Lee's very confident. Um, and if anything, Mauricio Lara needs to be worried and fear Lee Wood because he'll be the one that, that comes up victorious and, and he's the danger man in the fight. Thank you, Ben. Mauricio, how was you, but I was only reminded yesterday that you are only 24 years of age, You're so young in the sport of boxing, but have experienced so much in your career. On Saturday night, you are convinced that you become world champion. <coughs> Mauricio, bienvenido en un buen lugar. Debería saber esto ya, pero algunas personas me, me recuerdan que solo tienes tan solo 24 años, pero tienes tanta historia ya en el cuerpo boxeo, has cumplido tantas cosas. El sábado estás convencido que vas a ser campeón del mundo. Este, hola, hola, buenas tardes a todos. Buenos días, ¿verdad? Sí, me siento contento, entusiasmado y sé que me he preparado como nunca para esta pelea. Sé que es la oportunidad de mi vida y... Y como he dicho, soy una persona que, que las oportunidades las toma al primer instante, ¿no? So, first of all, I was going to say hello to everyone here. Hope you're well. I'm feeling really, really happy. I mean, as I say, this is an opportunity that, that has come round, and when opportunities do come round, I, I take them with both hands, and I feel, that, you know, convinced that I will win. You are known as, as the danger man in the division. Um, Lee Wood's trainer just says that you should fear Lee Wood in this fight with his punch power as well. You, you take this fight very seriously and you know this is a very dangerous fight for you. Finalmente hemos escuchado el equipo de Lee Wood diciendo que te, tú también te debías tener un poco de miedo porque él también tiene el poder y también tienes que tomarlo como una pelea seria, ¿no? Es el, el, el chavo de la lucha. Eh, bueno, claro, sabemos que ni un, ni un, yo ni un boxeador lo menos pese, ¿no? Pero... Sé qué capacidad tiene Bronco Lara para una pelea de centro del mundo. Sé que estoy muy bien preparado, sé que vivo con muchas ganas. Como le dije, espero se haya preparado muy bien para una guerra. Yo no veo una pelea, yo veo una guerra, a morirme en la raya, a llevarme a todo el mundo ocioso. So, of course, you know, I'm, I'm not disrespecting in any way, but I just know the capability of Bronco Lara and, and he will go on and win the world title. You know, I'm prepared better than ever. Prepared not for a fight, for a war. I'm prepared to leave absolutely everything in there. And finally, the UK fans have become familiar with your style: all action, dangerous, sometimes reckless, but always explosive. Is that should, what they should expect on Saturday? And do you win this fight by knockout? Seguramente, tenés como fans británicos ya conoce tu estilo, que eres muy explosivo. A veces haces cosas muy despiadamente en el ring. Podemos esperar lo mismo el sábado por la noche y va a ser un caos para Bronco Lara. Eh, claro, vengo a esto y yo lo dije, 
esta pelea no va a terminar por decisión, esta pelea no, no va por decisión, entonces, como lo dije, ya Reino Unido es como mi segunda casa, me siento muy contento de que me hayan un buen recibimiento aquí, que me apoyen en redes sociales, la verdad, vengo a dar todo, vengo a dar todo este 18 de febrero. So of course, you know, um, I've prepared as well as I possibly can. I feel like um, this is almost my second home. This will definitely not go to the scorecards, I can tell you that. The UK just says like my second home. I feel like I've been supported on the social media platforms. And I'm going to give absolutely everything on the 18th. Thank you, Mauricio Lee. Welcome back. It's almost, you know, like another day in the office now. I remember giving an interview with the BBC yesterday and I said, I remember Carl Froch for years and years just saying to me, do me a favour, give Lee Wood six rounds on my undercard because he's just, you know, he's a great fighter and he's got big support but he's just not getting the chances. Amazing to see that after all those struggles and all those efforts, you're in fights like this, to ultimately decide, I believe, who is the number one fighter in the division on Saturday night. Yes, yeah, so it's been a, um, a long journey for you. Um, First of all, why is this not public this one? I promised a few hundred people to sing, to sing some here, man. So I'm going to get a bit of stick for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, just that little kid um, at the French Fire trying to get a little slot on the car. Um, I've come a long way since then. Um, you know, there's nothing that's going to beat, that's going to beat me on Saturday night. Nothing at all. Um, nothing that he can bring that I'm not prepared for. Um, he's ready for a war, but uh, I'm ready for a smart, tactical, Knockout. Ben said yesterday that you hate going into fights as the favourite. Was that a little bit, you know, and I was surprised at the action odds for this fight. You know, I see this fight as a 50 50 fight, as many do, but you are another big outsider going into this fight. Is that part of the mindset where you've kind of always been that underdog for your career and, and as many expecting you to fall short on Saturday night, but they were against Kanzu, they were against Michael Conlon, and you keep on proving the odds wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I think the underdog um, mentality going to a fight does help a little bit, but it's more of having that danger with the Zutan fighters, punches, power pull, massive power pull, you need your end user speed ball, blah, 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 so there's a bit of fear factor of that angle to get me up for the fight. With the Conlon fight, you know, it was a sad pull, bearing in mind I lost one in my career before then, competitively. Um, very, very skillful, and in the, a massive amateur pedigree. So there was that factor as well. This fight, you know, it's, it's a new approach, um, but a similar kind of thing. We've got the fear factor, the punch is dangerous. Um, whichever way this fight goes, you know, I'm prepared for it. Um, but like you say, that underdog mentality, um, not only I strive on, but I kind of need it. So. And finally, just a couple of hundred tickets left away from you. So that shout out to Auntie Sue as well has done a great job. You've done over 3,000 tickets yourself, or Sue has. We sell out, we can pick that We've got a couple of hundred tickets there. We'll be a complete sellout on Saturday night, so if you're in Nottingham, make sure you're part of this. But a quick word on the support. You know, I mean, it's tough times at the moment. You know, everyone is obviously at a cost of living crisis. People want more value than ever when they're attending events. They're going to get a tremendous night and a great fight on Saturday. But a word for your city that really has shown out. And last time in the Michael Bonham fight, you know, in that 9,000, there was probably 5,000 or 5,500 Nottingham and 3,500 Irish. The full lot, I mean, no disrespect to the travelling Mexican fans, but I don't think there's going to be many on Saturday night. But 9,000 in there for you cheering, the ring walk, everything we've created. This is, this is what you've dreamed of for a long time. Yeah, it's going to be special. Um, uh, I've said this in previous interviews this week, you know, it's going to be a wolf pit, it's going to be a cauldron, you know, um, hostile. So massive thank you to everyone from Nottingham and, and further afield, you know, Auntie has told me that the tickets have gone all over the place, not just in Nottingham, even I. Um, so we've got a few new, new fans as well coming down. But yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere, so thanks for getting behind me. Um, you know, every time I get in that ring, um, I put it all on every single drop of me is going to this fight. Um, whatever I have to do, um, by hook or by cook, um, by knockout or by points, whatever it is. Um, if I have to put myself up, I can put myself up. I've shown in the last five. Um, I'm resilient, I can punch, um, I'm fit, and I'm headstrong, which is the most important thing in boxing, that, that, men that mental capacity of not deciding to give up. Well, thank you, Lee, team, Lee Wood, team Maurizio Lara. What a fight on Saturday night. I am so excited for this fight, I cannot even begin to tell you. You're only going to be able to 
use the edge of your seat. You're going to be watching this for your fingers. You're going to need a spare pair of underpants because this bike is going to have everything. It's an absolute thriller and one of the reasons we love sport boxing. And just a quick shout out as well to the amateur clubs in Nottingham as well. Lee Wood, Carl Froch, part of you know, the Phoenix ABC as well. Those clubs are so important to the community and helping fighters like Lee, like Carl Froch come through. And now they're inspiring the next generation of fighters. Parents, if you're watching this fight, take your kids to the local boxing club. Best thing you will ever do. Right, that's my preaching over with. But more importantly, what I'm going to preach about is Saturday night, live on the zone around the world. Part of a huge schedule in coming. Of course, we have Lee Wood against Mauricio Lara this Saturday. Then we move to Liverpool, Callum Smith, Mexico before that. We've got Anthony Joshua appearing on the zone in his comeback fight against Jermaine Franklin. Joe Cordina against Rapamon. Looks like Canelo Alvarez against John Ryder. Taylor Serrano from Ireland. And so much more incoming. Unbelievable schedule and it all starts Saturday night. For me, one of the fights of the year. The WBA featherweight world title. Lee Wood against Mauricio Lara. Wherever you are in the world, tune into the zone and do not miss it. We'll be here for the press conference. Sorry, for the weigh-in tomorrow. And it will be open to the public. Get yourself down, we have plenty of noise, and we look forward to a night we will not forget on Saturday. Thank you. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it, and this has been like a therapy session.